I want to build for you an understanding that we have about the circumstances in which ethnic violence takes place. And since ethnic violence is one of the major contributors to social disorder around the world, and is particularly relevant to what's going on in Syria, I need to talk about this for us to discuss the solution. So normally, when people talk about ethnic violence, they talk about lots of different things, social, economic, historical, etc., etc., things that people need to be concerned about. When we studied this problem, we, dis we identified a different approach which is based on geography. It's just based upon ethnic geography and where people of different types are located, are, are settled. And the fundamental statement is that there is a universal dynamics where individuals, if they choose or have a preference to be near others of the same type, they will cause, by virtue of where they move, a progressive creation of islands of progressively larger size of that type is that at this large scale behaviors of the social system there's only one thing that I can talk about in any theory that I write down and that's the size of the factors. Okay. So taking this insight from a physics approach what we're going to do is we're going to say that ethnic violence is related just to the pack size. The question is in what way will it be related to pack size? That's all I can say. And here's the argument. If people are well mixed, so if in, a, in a neighborhood you have multiple types, they're not going to fight each other. If people are separated from each other, so the patches are really large, they're not going to fight each other because they don't see each other. So the only possibility is that there's a certain size in the intermediate size where people will fight each other. Both ethnic violence, and yellow are the places of large events. How did we do? Incredibly well. There's a 90% geographical correlation. Implications about this are that neighborhood mixing is peaceful. Right? Within a neighborhood, integration works. Second, large domains with smooth boundaries are peaceful. Third, Patches of a certain size are a danger, but all you have to do is to create subnational boundaries appropriately, whatever that means. Our theory doesn't tell you what it looks like. Um, and you're good. Even without doing a detailed analysis, that ethnic violence should play a major role in things that go on. And indeed, after the disruption of order happened in Syria, Due to the Arab Spring, there is surely many reasons to believe that much of the conflict there is uh, driven by ethnic violence. So we have to recognize that there is a food crisis trigger of disorder. There is an ethnic crisis that is arising from um, uh, ethnic conflict. And somehow, if we want to create peace in this context, we have to address these issues in a way that will work. And remembering that there are going to be future shocks in the global system, the question is how to create a structure which is going to be robust and goes back to this issue of that it will be robust if it's a natural.